back to the daily draw. Today is Thursday, so I'll be doing a draw with the grandparents, which I hope you really enjoy. We're gonna be starting today off by doing a, some winter items. So we're gonna be doing some mittens, a hat and a scarf. And if you're going on your daily lockdown walks like me, and it's really cold here, I've been wearing those all the time. So get your paintbrushes out, maybe get a FaceTime on to your grandparents, and let's start. <music> Okay, so we're going to start this picture by putting in the basic shapes for our mittens, our hat and our scarf. I'm going to start with the mittens, which we're going to do up here in this kind of corner. And I'm going to start with like a semicircle shape, just like this. And then I'm going to bring this down and join it with a slight kind of curve at the bottom, just like this. I'm then going to do the same on this side big semicircle up at the top to come down and join with a curve and I just made that line a little bit too big so I'm just gonna fix that. I'm then gonna move on to do the scarf and I'm gonna start the scarf by just doing a line here to show where I wanted to start and a little dot here to show where I want it to end. So I'm going to start by doing a curve and curve down like that. I'm then going to bring the curve down, back up, and when I get to here, I'm just going to do like a two shape. So if you watch, I'm gonna go around and down, just like a two. And I'm gonna bring this line down and up to the point where I said I wanted my scarf to end. I'm gonna bring a line down this does not have to be straight. We don't want it to be straight because we want it to look like a scarf blowing in the wind. Then at this point here, I'm just gonna bring a line down here too. And we're gonna follow the kind of curves that we made on the line up here. So can you see it goes down and then up and then this one goes down and then up, just like this. Then we're gonna move on to the hat and I like to start the hat by just doing this line here, which is gonna be the bottom part. And I brought it all the way over here and then curved it back down and joined this bit up again, with a nice smile shape, just like this. Then what I did actually is draw how tall I want it to be then bring this down to here but because we're not, we don't want any lines here, so I'm just gonna rub this bit out. And then I'm going to draw, draw the pom-pom shape, which is essentially a circle, but we're not drawing it with lines like that. We're gonna draw it with little lines coming out to the side. Can you see? So lots of little lines pointing outwards to make it look like a pom-pom. And that's all we're gonna do on our first step. Okay, so for step two, I am gonna start again on the mittens and I'm gonna start by drawing a triangle coming up, which is gonna be for the thumb, but I'm gonna make it a very curvy triangle. So it's gonna point up to one side like a triangle, curve, and then come back down, just like that. And then I'm gonna do a kind of rectangle shape, which is gonna go at the bottom of each of the mittens. And then I'm going to join them up with some string and I want to have some really nice flowing string. So I'm gonna bring it down, curve, do a little loop and then up to there. And then I'm going to work on this scarf. We don't actually need to do anything on the hat in this step, but for the scarf, first thing I'm going to do is join this line up to here not happy with how I finished that off so I'm going to rub it out and just join it up like that and then I'm going to do some little dots on either side of the scarf and that is our second step <laughs>
for our third step, we're just going to do all the nice little details on our mittens, our scarf and our hat. So I'm going to start by doing the details on the mittens and I'm going to start by doing three semicircle curves on each one. Three and then some dots underneath. And I'm going to do that on both of them. And then I'm just going to do some lines coming down in the rectangles. Just like so. And that is the mittens all finished. And I can move on to my woolly hat where I'm going to do the same thing and do some curvy lines. Just like that. Some dots underneath. And then some straight lines coming down. Just like so. And then I'm going to finish off the scuff. And I'm going to start by, on every single one of the little circles we did, I'm just going to bring two lines up. And it does not matter if they are straight. In fact, it would be quite nice if they were a bit wavy because it would show the scuff is blowing in the wind. Just like so. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the curves and the dots. So just some curves and dots. And that's us ready to paint. I'm going to use some watercolour pencils to, to paint this. But if you don't have them, you can use crayons or pens or norm, normal pencils. It doesn't matter. So with my watercolour pencils, I'm going to start with my green. You can maybe sharpen your green if you like. And I am just going to outline most of the lines we've made. I'm not going to outline the pattern with the semicircles and the dots because I'm going to outline that in a different colour later. But all I'm going to do is just outline it. I'm going to outline the string, remembering to do nice curvy lines. Then I'm going to come onto the scarf and I am going to outline the dots and the bits of string and the dots on this side. It's not really string, it's like tassels. So outlining the tassels. Then I'm going to try and press quite hard to outline the scarf. Remember that two shape? And that is all the green that I'm going to do on the scarf and then for the hat I'm going to outline the hat part and these lines here. Now if you have never used watercolour pencil before they are magical so I'm just going to show you. I have some water here so I'm going to dip my paintbrush into the water and when I touch the paint, the lines that I've made, they're going to turn to paint. And I'm just going to turn those lines to paint and bring it into the scarf a little bit. Not too much. I just want to give the impression that it's a very, very light green. So I'm just going to bring my line all the way over, make sure it's all turned to paint. And you can see that looks very different to this part of the scarf. So I'm just going to do the same thing, take my brush and drag it along the lines that we've made. If you don't have any watercolour pencils, that's fine. You can do this in anything you like. 
but if you like the idea of trying them then you can find them on our shop the little art school on our website and then I'm going to bring up and just do exactly the same with the mittens so it gives the effect that they are a lovely greeny colour and it still gives them that outline so you can still quite clearly see the lines on the mittens and I'm going to do exactly the same thing with my hat just here and just go over the middle bit to give it an impression of green so I'm going to leave the line on the mittens I'm going to leave that bit without adding any water and I'm going to leave the tassels at the end too but that is the first painting stage and now I'm going to leave that completely dry before I do any other colours Let's start the second part of painting. I'm going to use a blue watercolour pencil now and I'm, all I'm going to do is do those little lines that we did to represent the pom-pom. I'm just going to go over those in a bit of blue and then same as before I'm going to use my paintbrush to paint the pom-pom. Just like that, I don't really need any more paint than that. I'm then going to take my red and I'm going to go over the semicircles and the little dots. And I'm not going to turn this to paint because I'd quite like that to just look like a pattern. So I'm going to do it pressing really hard so that none of the green comes through. And that is our finished painting. We have a beautiful hat, some mittens and a scarf. I hope you really enjoyed that picture and that you're proud of the painting you've produced. Remember, we at The Little Art School would love to see your pictures, so please comment on our Facebook or our Instagram. Send them in to us anywhere because we just love seeing them. I'll be back next week with Draw with the Grandparents and we're going to be moving away from winter and more into spring and we're going to do a beautiful crocus flower. Mum is going to be back tomorrow to do a King Julian drawing from Madagascar and she has been singing all week so we're trying to convince her not to sing but I hope you really enjoy it. Mm -hmm.